we're going to move to probably the most difficult test and the ones we're going to see the most individual differences on in our entire ultimate mobility checklist by looking at hip rotation in sitting. So a lot of individuals are going to have different hip anatomy that will impact what they can or can't have from a hip rotation standpoint. So when we talk about this, we're more so trying to identify which range or which direction the hip might be more limited in because then we might bias our mobility towards that area of rotation just a little bit more. So I'm first going to sit upright in kind of a natural up tall posture and I'm going to move one of my legs off the edge of this box and I'm going to have this leg perpendicular to my pelvis and I'm going to slide back so that my upper thigh is staying fairly close to parallel to the ground. It's important that we get this lined up well or we're going to get some really poor readings from our mobility assessment. Then we're first going to look at hip external rotation by bringing the foot inward. I'm doing that without lifting my leg off the box or letting my torso trunk spine position change here. So I'm looking at external rotation and I'd like to see probably about a 45 degree angle right here. Some people will get significantly more than that, some a little less than that. And then we'll look at hip internal rotation where I'm not going to lean anyway. Again, I'm keeping spine position, pelvis position normal, and I'm going to internally rotate my leg. And what I'd like to see here is if we dropped a line down and we measured that angle, we're looking for about a 30 degree range. Now, again, a lot of people are going to have wide variations there. Some people's hip anatomy just simply will not, from how their bones are set up in their hip joint, allow them to have full rotation there. So how do I use this test? Number one, if I'm doing this test and I'm pulling out and it's not just like gummy, like slightly stiff, it's like boom, really firm, hard infill, then I know I might not get a whole lot of motion out of this direction. But if I'm looking and I'm feeling like a soft infill both directions that feels like, all right, that's probably something that we can mobilize and get a little bit better. Then I'm going to look at which one of those is further away from the 45 or 35 degree direction that we're looking at. And that's where I'm going to bias my mobility work a little bit. So now that's a little bit more complicated than some of the more black and white tests that we've given inside of the ultimate mobility checklist, but it's a little bit more of a difficult joint from an individual differences standpoint. So let's use myself as a case example. I can pretty easily get to like that 45 ish degree angle that, that direction. But as I come out, like getting out to that angle there, that's not 30 degrees. That's significantly shy of that. And it's not super, super stiff. I feel like I could probably stretch and mobilize that to be a little bit better. So I am going to be a little bit more biased in my hip mobility work towards things that address hip internal rotation. On the flip side of that, if you were maybe 30 degrees here, but we went out and we only got 30 degrees of external rotation, maybe 15 degrees ish shy of that 45 degrees that we're kind of softly aiming for, then my mobility work is going to be more biased towards things that work on hip external rotation. 